Hey guys, today I'll be swatching and reviewing for you the new Huda Beauty liquid lipsticks. I purchased 10 of these to swatch for you guys. There are a lot of pinks in this collection. I guess I'm not surprised though. Huda is very much a fan of pink. Just a heads up, this is what my natural lips look like. They are pigmented. first shade I'm going to go in is the shade Venus. This is such a beautiful nude. It's more on the lighter side, but I really love this color. These will dry down a little bit dark. So as it sets down a little bit darker, it definitely looks a lot more flattering on me than it did at first swipe. I think this shade is really beautiful and probably one of my top favorite shades from this range. Although it's quite light, it is pigmented enough to actually cover the color of my lips, which is amazing. And I love this shade. I think it's beautiful. If you add a little bit of a brown lip liner just to the edges, it looks even better. So here's the shade Venus. gorgeous color I really love this one this is the shade sweet talker it definitely looks a little bit mauve tone on my lips but I do think it's a pretty shade and for me I will just need a lip liner to make sure it just doesn't look so stark and pale against my complexion sweet talker Ooh, this is like a bright lilac pink. It is pretty. I just don't think this works that well with my skin tone. Let me know what you think. This is the shade Perfectionist. This is the shade Bombshell. This is a warm tone pink and I certainly think it looks better on my skin tone than Perfectionist. This is the shade Bombshell. This is baby doll, kind of like your neon bright Barbie pink. I can't see myself wearing this shade, but with a lip liner, I can probably pull it off. This is the shade baby doll. I think perhaps for summer, this would be a fun shade to wear out. This is the shade Muse, another lilac-y pink. It looks quite similar to Perfectionist on my lips. And I'm not a fan of this shade either. What do you guys think? This is the shade Muse. This is the shade Trendsetter. I really love this shade. I think it's a really gorgeous nude. When you're looking for something that's quite grungy, this is the shade Trendsetter. This is 
such a gorgeous orange. I adore this shade. I did need to dip into this shade twice to get this opacity. So it's not fully pigmented with the first swipe. You're gonna need to build a couple of layers, but it looks really beautiful. I love it, love this orange. It's Latina. love 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 this is the shade icon this is a deep warm pink i like this shade but i wish it had a little bit more earthiness i wish it had a little bit of terracotta i think that's when i would have really loved it but i still think it looks pretty this is the shade icon This is the shade Trophy Wife, which is a very popular shade from Huda Beauty. So those were all the swatches of the 10 lipsticks that I picked up from the new collection. Now I don't have her previous older lipsticks so I can't compare the formula for you. What I can tell you is that these are definitely long wearing lipsticks that are transfer proof. So I have worn these under a mask and they stay put. There's maybe just a little bit of transfer if you're talking a lot but other than that they don't migrate. They don't come off onto the mask much. They're perfect under a mask. They're also comfortable. So I've been wearing them every day for the last few days and I haven't found these to be particularly drying. With any long wearing liquid lipstick, of course, they are drying after a certain point in time. I find that really at that six, six and a half hour mark, I really feel like I need to take them off. I just find them, including every other liquid lipstick, a little bit dry. But that's just liquid lipsticks for me in general. I think this formulation is lovely. It is fluid, lightweight. They don't feel particularly heavy on the lips. They're not as light as NARS. So in comparison to some of my favorite liquid lipsticks like the NARS, they, they are quite similar, but there are key differences. So I think NARS overall is better quality than the Huda Beauty, just in terms of how they feel, how they apply, I just think NARS is definitely an elevated formulation. These are more fluid, they're a little bit more liquidy. They, um, I feel like the Huda Beauty is just a little bit thick. And the NARS is also more pigmented than the Huda. NARS is just incredible. With one swipe, you can completely cover the color of your lips. You really don't need any more swipes. So they are intense, intensely pigmented and I love that about the NARS. Um, the NARS is also long bearing, comfortable. The key difference between these two is really transfer proof. Whereas the NARS isn't transfer proof, it will come off on the mask for example, whereas the Huda's is transfer proof. So if transfer proof is really important to you, then perhaps stick with the Huda. I also think the color selection with NARS is just 10 times better, like seriously. It's much, much better. There are so many beautiful shades with various different tones. I really enjoy the color selection with NARS. The other ones I want to compare them to are the Kaleidos liquid lipsticks. So they are different. They're not liquid. Actually, they're not called liquid lipsticks. They're called cloud lip clays, which is actually a very apt name for them. They do feel moussey, almost clay-like. The thing with the Kaleidos is the formulation is very different. This is like a typical liquid lipsticks. However, this one is a moussey formula. Now, what I love about both are transfer proof. So you you don't have to worry about this smearing or moving around throughout the day. This Kaleidos is also comfortable. What I particularly love about the Kaleidos is that they kind of fill in your lip lines because it's that moussey formula. I feel like with Huda and with any liquid lipstick in general, to be honest, if you have a lot of lip lines, they will settle into those lip lines and it can make your, your mouth look a little bit dry and almost 
pruney. Whereas what I love about the Kaleidos is that it doesn't happen with Kaleidos because of that moussey formula. It just glides over and kind of fills in the lip lines. So it looks very smooth and slightly blurring on the lips. I absolutely adore that. The other great thing with the Kaleidos is they're very easy to apply, reapply throughout the day. There are no hassles. Now with the Huda Beauty, they are easy to reapply, but you just have to keep in mind that if you're going to apply a layer on top of an old layer, it will look okay for the first hour, but as the day progresses, the two layers will start almost separating and it will start looking a little bit unattractive. So I would recommend is that if you are going to be topping up with these, you just remove the entire color and then reapply a fresh coat. And to be honest, I, I often do this with Kaleidos as well. Sometimes it's just nice to kind of remove what you've got and then apply a fresh new product. So that's okay. They do last a long time though with eating and drinking. So you probably won't have to reapply unless you eat something that has oil in it. Oil will break these down, of course. If I personally had to rank these three liquid lipsticks, uh, for me, I would say Kaleidos takes first place then it's the NARS and then it's the Huda Beauty. But of course, if transfer proof is really important to you, then you want to stick with either of these two. Oh my God, I really love this orange, Slatina. It's so beautiful. It's bright, but it still has plenty of depth to look really good on brown skin. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you'll be grabbing any shades, if you have this already, how are you finding this formulation? And I will see you guys in my next one. See ya.